Poems from an Email Exchange by Hanif Abdurraqib. Re your submission, 9.27 p.m. Editor to me. Hanif, we regret to inform you that the poem in which the dog empties itself into morning's fresh glow as a metaphor for love will not be accepted by our magazine. We invite you to submit again. We invite you to first find love that isn't shaken to life by the warmth of a dog's digested meal. We are sending this email from the depths of two thousand gutted roses. We are being swallowed by what our lovers tore from the earth. We fall in love with everything. We want to kiss the streets strangers have walked on. The dog will always find new ground. The bowl will always be full. We cannot take your poem at this time because we are cat people. We wish you the best of luck in placing this poem elsewhere. Re, your submission, 9.45 p.m. Me to Editor. Dear Editor, you mention the cat, which hides every mess it makes. I imagine love as an indecent animal. I have stepped in what is left in the streets after the dogs have been left to the carelessness of their owners. I have cleaned the sneaker, stained with the residue of a dog's feast. I have turned the brown back to the moon-white glow and placed my foot gently inside. This, too, is romance. The unclean face kissed clean and made ready for the night. I may ask you to reconsider this poem. I may ask you to reconsider love. I would like to take you on a date. We will walk the gardens of Brooklyn. We will let our feet sink into the mud. Re, your submission, 10.37 p.m. Editor to me. Hanif, we regret to inform you that there are no gardens in Brooklyn. There is only concrete. Everything is an endless brunch. Everything is a bottomless drink. We say bottomless, and we mean that. We know the end is approaching, we just can't see it. The only true currency in this city is what you don't know, or what you know but won't say out loud. We regret again to inform you that your poem did not remind us of anyone we have loved. We read your poem to someone who we had once kissed, and their entire memory vanished. We read your poem to our mothers, and we became a little more unborn with each line, we regret to inform you that your poem would render the world childless. Your poem would undo weddings. Your poem would cover every undressed body in 200 layers. Re, your submission, 11.38 p.m. Me to editor. Respectfully. Midnight is closing in. Isn't it funny how only the darkness is a thing that people say closes in? I come from a state where there is grass everywhere. It grows out of the walls. It grows out of our hands. It spills from our mouths any time we speak. I mean to say that I am actually the garden you are looking for. I mean to say that I have awakened in the brunch hours and refused to eat. I am a man of boundaries. There is an hour for pancakes. There is an hour for pizza. In between, there is only hunger. And now we return to the animal. My friend had an iguana that would rest on his stomach as he slept every night for the sake of warmth, but never for the sake of love. I have had my face pulled away from this closing darkness 
and into the light of a computer screen once again. But this is also not love. I do not confuse necessity for love. I do not confuse hunger with the need to fill myself with anything that will have me. I am sorry about Brooklyn. I am sorry about everywhere that is not what it was once. Isn't that so American? I am so sorry about what all of this has done to your heart. Three, your submission, 12.40 a.m. Editor to me. My dude, truly, this is not going to work. Why does it always have to be about the inside of the body with you poets? Can't our heart just be an untethered and unspectacular thing that keeps us from a funeral? We regret to inform you that Ohio is barely a state. We regret to inform you that the Midwest is only Chicago, and other places that want to be Chicago. We drove through Ohio once and saw only the promise of awaiting hell on a billboard between farms. Maybe this is why you are so lonely. Maybe this is why you write only about exits. We have seen skyscrapers. We believe ourselves infinite. We cannot accept poems about grass. What is grass to someone who is always looking up? Re, your submission. 2.19 a.m. Me to editor. Perhaps then, the fall. I wish you a chorus of leaves piled to whatever is left of your eyes, whatever the sky hasn't taken. Best, Hanif.